I started blogging in 2012. Oh my goodness. And it's been, wow. <laughs> it's, 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 it's amazing that I started blogging like seven years ago. Hey lovelies, I hope you're doing well. Welcome and welcome to this channel. If you're new here, I hope you're here to stay. And if you're an oldie, well, welcome home. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. Around the 12th of July, 2012, was my first blog on Natural Sisters. I can still remember at that time I was pregnant and, uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I was pregnant and I had a difficult pregnancy. There was nothing that I could do besides blogging. I was so bored and I thought, okay, let me uh, kind of make myself busy. Let me put this on silent because it's hectic. Okay. So, um, I couldn't do anything else besides blogging. I couldn't work. I was actually unemployed at that particular time. And um, so that's all i could do and besides i had grown natural in 2011 january of 2011 was my last relaxer so a lot of people oh my hair was thriving and i owe that to the pregnancy growth hormones and also taking care of my hair like intentionally taking good care of my hair and so my friends were asking me left right and center what are you doing and like people at church were asking me what are you doing different and I would show them these blogs that I was following because I read blog upon blog when I went natural. I was literally like stalking certain blogs. I'll show my friends these blogs and they'll be like, girl, these are mixed. We are not mixed and our hair can never grow past shoulder length. And I was like, no, if you take care of it, it actually does grow. That's why you're asking me how my hair is thriving. And it's because I am using these same practices that these bloggers are using. And that's why my hair is thriving. It was a hard time really to try and convince them that actually African hair without any mixture of some sort, African hair does grow. So I took the challenge and said, okay, look here, let me bring it back home. Let me also document my journey. And by then when I started blogging, I was still transitioning to natural hair because I did a two year transition and I started documenting my journey growing natural hair. So that was in 2012. Can you imagine like time flies when you're having fun? <laughs> All right. Okay, so yeah, so it has been quite a good experience. It has it has always been therapeutic actually for me writing because I love writing. I often don't find enough time to actually write. So the fact that I'm writing on a blog, I'm managing a blog, it encourages me to write even more and when I write I just feel okay. Like um in my space i feel so so good when i write so basically that's why i started the blog to find something to do and to write on a topic that i love so much which is natural hair i started doing hair when i was in grade six like neighbors and neighbors kids used to come to our house and i would do their hair i would play their hair i would advise them on what products to use you know that kind of thing so i've always been doing hair as besides that i went and got a college degree in mechanical engineering <laughs> that doesn't affect anything i've always loved hair and i've always worked around hair so i was blogging on something that i love so much and with blogging especially when you like uh trying to put facts out there you have to research as well and you have to keep your information up to date and that as well trained me in so many ways on the new practices the new trends and the things that i didn't know about hair because knowing how to style hair and knowing about hair are two different things and i'm so grateful for this blog because it got me into like in depth on working with hair natural sisters has also allowed me to start a product line to start an online shop and to start a hair salon what else can i ask for like really okay so when i started blogging i wasn't looking at it as a, a business opportunity or even something that could produce a business opportunity like it did in this case i wanted to share my journey with you guys and in that process it births natural moisture which is the online shop and then natural organics which is the product brand that I actually founded. It also allowed me to start Nashe 
hair studio which was started in 2017 august of 2017 so actually next month is another anniversary you guys so this blog just writing about hair just blogging about hair allowed me to do all those things like the opportunities that it opened for me the people that i've met the new friends and you know like i never thought it would turn into this thing that it is now no definitely not this blog also allowed me to have sponsored posts i've had my fair share of sponsored posts and one of them was um darling and then we are talking of ors we are talking of head and shoulders i had a whole one year contract with head and shoulders and then we also talking of other product manufacturers that have also got me on board as far as helping them to formulate for the african afro hair so i had a number of sponsored gigs and speaking gigs so that has been quite a lot of fun as well including being on tv several times and i'm so grateful for all that opportunity that this blog and my hard work of course has given me a lot of people have been asking me questions about starting a blog and how they can start a blog and how um what they should blog about and i'm like okay it depends on why you want to start a blog is it for income then you're gonna have to do that a lot like really get into it there is hard work there's nothing like uh it's easy money or it's an easy going thing is even if you're blogging as a hobby it is a lot of work i have been blogging for a very long time as a hobby and even up to now i don't depend financially on the blog but it has been a labor of love and it is quite a lot of work one of the things that you need to consider when you want to start a blog is why you want to blog for me it was basically the love of writing and the fact that i wanted to document and share my natural hair journey that's basically why i started blogging so for you you may want to consider that question which is very important and the first question that you have to get an answer to if you answer that question very well why you want to start blogging that answer is going to give you the drive to keep on blogging even when you don't have time or you are going through a rough patch and whatever the case may be it's going to give you the drive and the encouragement and the inspiration to keep on blogging which gets us to the next question what are you going to be blogging about there are so many topics that anyone can blog about and for me it was something that I was passionate about which is hair. I've been working with hair for a very long time. I'm very passionate about doing hair, about DIY when it comes to my hair, about trying different styles as well. So my work was basically hair. That's how this whole thing started. That's how my blog started. It was sharing information on hair care practices when it comes to African Afro hair. So that's my what. So you find your what. Well, there are so many topics that you can blog about their niche and there are general topics that you can blog about which is what is very common in these days a lot of people are basically turning into lifestyle blogs which has got the advantage that it doesn't limit you whatever interests you is what you can blog about but if your blog is about uh, supporting a particular brand then you're kind of limited in the kind of content that you can put out there because it has to be something that is relevant to your brand so that you can represent the brand very well so that's the what are you going to be blogging about and you have to come up with a plan on how you're going to get financial support or if you're going to be getting any financial support from that blog at all you have to think out all these things because if you're going to be supporting a particular brand then you may not need to monetize your blog but if you put out content that has nothing to do with a particular brand then you may want to monetize your blog at a particular point especially if you're spending a lot of time creating posts creating content for your viewers or your readers your followers then you may need to find a way of monetizing the blog either through advertisements or through sponsored posts or through sponsored gigs well these normally come after some time after you've accumulated a reasonable following for these brands to pick you as a content creator that is going to be able to work as an influencer for their brand so that comes after some time you cannot come in after posting two posts and then expect a brand to actually sponsor you as an influencer because they are looking at your sphere of influence how many people are you actually going to be able to influence 
on their brand or about their brand so that's another thing that you have to take into consideration that there's some hard work that actually happens before you start getting sponsored gigs the other question that you need to ask yourself is where you're going to be blogging there's so many avenues and so many platforms that you can actually use for blogging nowadays there's so many content creators and influencers that are doing micro blogging on twitter for example you can become a twitter specialist someone who tweets like nobody's business you can do your blog on instagram on facebook on blogspot or on wordpress or a self-hosted blog which is what i have because natural sisters is natural sisters do see or do za i prefer a self host a blog because it gives me a lot of control as in what is going to be on my blog and things like instagram and twitter and facebook are there to help me to actually promote the posts that i have put on my personal blog so that's how i like it so you will have to decide on where you want to blog i'm not so good at this but the other thing that you have to consider is how often you're going to be blogging when you're a content creator consistency is very important i know life happens and you may not be able to churn out post after post regularly for example i had to take quite a number of breaks when it comes to blogging i could not post every week because i had to study i was studying supply chain management and that kept me too busy to the extent that i was not able to post each and every week as planned however it is important to post regularly your readers need to know that when they go to your blog each and every week they are going to be able to get something that they can read or even if you are going to be posting each and every day for some people they actually post each and every day and these are the ones that do blogging or do content creation full time and so if you have told yourself that you're going to be posting new content every day then you make sure that you stick to that as much as possible i know life happens you may not be able to do that every time but if you try by all means to keep to that schedule that you've given yourself then your blog should thrive so that's basically the why what where how about blogging just to recap you need to consider why you want to start a blog what you're going to be blogging about where you're going to be blogging whether it's going to be on twitter on instagram youtube or your self-hosted blog and how frequent you're going to be blogging that's very important you guys that's all for me today thank you so much for watching and please please do subscribe to this channel if you want to get more content like this one or the hair videos that i've done before and please give me a thumbs up you have no idea how much that helps me if you give me a thumbs up then youtube is going to show this content to a lot more people so please do give me a thumbs up what's your takeaway from this video i would like to know so please put it in the comment section below i don't want this to be a monologue i need as much feedback from you guys so let's turn this into a conversation have you thought about starting a blog go on give birth to that idea if we don't give birth to it it will remain a dream and if it remains a dream you are the one to regret why you didn't start it so you don't have to start with sophisticated equipment or a lot of time on your hands if you've thought about it it's already conceived so give birth to that dream and just do it thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one god bless you bye